everyone, Stormy Strike here, and this is just going to be kind of a quick unboxing on these three little guys that I got from the Model Horse Show that I went to recently. I am going to be doing a placings video on that, I just haven't had the chance to do it yet because it tends to take a really long time to do those kinds of videos. I'm also going to be doing a Star Stable video. I haven't done Star Stable in forever, but I am going to do another video on that soon, or eventually, I don't know when. I'm yeah, a lot of stuff has been just going on. It's crazy and I haven't had a lot of time and so I'm just going to try and fit in what I can video-wise when I can. But these three guys, so this guy is actually the one is one I got at the raffle at the show. And this is Flaka, 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 I don't know how you pronounce his name, from Spirit Riding Free, even though we haven't really seen him actually in the show yet. But that is him. I actually really wanted to get this guy. I've seen him at like Target and uh, Walmart. And every time I see him, I'm like, oh, I kind of wanted him. But I'm like, eh, I'm just going to wait though because I don't really have the extra money to spend right now. And then finally, um, I ended up getting him in the raffle. So I guess it's good that I didn't, uh, didn't buy him yet. But there are the other horses I'm really wanting to buy from the Spirit Riding Free thing and stuff. So we'll open him up. And then these two actually won technically at the show, and I'll explain more about that in the placings video. I don't really feel like going over all of that right now, and I just dropped my scissors. Anyway, there's a little collectible bowl and a uh, copy. I'm not, I hope that's how you pronounce it, it's something like that. But there are these really cool, uh, really cool animals that are very, very strange looking. They're like a zebra and a giraffe and like... I don't know, they're really cool though. Anyway, let's uh, open these guys up first, I guess, real quickly since they are easier. So I guess this is how uh, the collectors come from Briar now. They're like, I don't know, I believe she got these uh, from directly from Briar, the show holder did, but I'm not entirely sure. But I think so, I don't know. Anyway, let's take this little guy out. Here's Mr. Bowl, and then he's got like a cardboard thing in between him to keep his legs from warping, which is pretty nice that they do that. Instead of uh, having the collectives or schlikes like all up on the shelves just getting played with and thrown around, I, that always kind of drives me nuts. But here it is. I have, I do have a couple collector horses, so I'm not unfamiliar with this uh, particular brand. And now it's Briar brand now, technically though, so they are probably the same. Anyway, anyway, this guy, really cool, a little collectible, really neat, I like all the little herring detail going on, he's pretty uh, basic dark brown color, but he's got some like lighter brown undershading, you can't really see it, but it's very, very subtle and I think it really makes him look nice. He's got a cute little face, my camera will focus in on that cute little face, glossy eye and nostrils. Really cute, and I'm really loving these like neck flaps hanging down, like extra skin hanging down on his neck. Like how they did that looks really realistic and cool. I'm really digging that. And then he also has like the little, fortunately the one bad thing about collectors is they have these little stamps on them. And sometimes they put it like under the belly where you can't really see it, or this guy you can't really see it at all, so it's not a problem. But I have some other like collecta horses and stuff where it's like on their side pretty much and it's really annoying because you can like totally see it. But there's his little thing. Oh he's an Angus bull. That's very cool. And this was I guess the, originally this mold was made in 2011. And collecta. Very neat. So he is super cute. Very nice. Now I'm going to open up the Okapi. I hope that's how you pronounce it. I uh associate these guys actually with Zoo Tycoon 2 because I used to play that all the time when I was a kid. And I will be doing a gameplay video on that at some point. But anyway, again, the cardboard piece between their legs. There we go. Got their cute little tags. Oh, it's really cute and I'm really impressed by these guys actually. Like, they're super nice. They like don't have any problem like with them in the sense of like having huge rubs or anything because these are like even though they're meant to be toys, they're really ma nicely made. I will say, this guy is really cute. Love those glossy eyes. I think they're just plain black. It's hard to tell with my uh, circle light, kind of making them look like they're blue and such, but they're just black. 
he has little, I mean, big ears and little, little like horn like things on its head. Really loving this coloring. Really pretty white stripes. Quite a bit of detail for for what they uh, consider as toys. And it's from 20, 20, uh, 2012 is when this mold was made. And the little like pin number thing is again, you can't really see it at all really, which is really nice. And it's on the belly, so that's awesome. Really, really loving this guy. Lots of nice uh, herring detail as well. So there are those two guys. And then let's go ahead and go to the Spirit. And this is actually not by Briar, by the way. This is by Just Play. Just Play. It's not by Briar. But it is Spirit Riding Free. So let's open this guy up. However you open these boxes up. I'm not really sure. I guess you open, up, open them up at the top here. Oh yeah, and here's the back of the box if you're wondering. Uh, the, all the characters on there. I still need to get a lot of Spirit Riding Free merch and I just haven't gotten any of it yet because of money being tight. But this guy is so cool. I'm so excited. Let's see if we can actually get him out of the box. Come on Mr. Flocka Shire Spirit Riding Free Horsey. Let's get you out of that box. Here we go. Come on out. Don't be afraid. Come say hello. Don't get caught. There we go. It's funny, even though this is just play, their boxes are kind of reminiscent of Briar boxes, just in the style of them and such. This is interesting though, the little... They don't have like twist ties, they just have like little plastic things holding these guys on here. Whoop, and he just popped right out, okay. So here he is, and what is that? He's got like weird stuff on him already, what is wrong? Oh my gosh, I don't expect him to be like super nice because I'm not like, oh, I'm going to show him. No, I'm just like kind of surprised there's like some weird, weird things going on in the plastic. Like the plastic is scratched already in several areas. It's just kind of weird. So here he is. He's a very light plastic, kind of. I mean, like he's a different plastic than Briar's. Like it has a totally different sound as you can hear that. Totally different sound from Briar's. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's a Briar I can grab here. To compare. Um, I was trying to find a classic. Do I not have any classics around me? I apparently do not. All I have is traditional briars. Okay, so I don't have any classics at the moment I can show you guys this guy with, but so here he is. Like I said, plastic, different than briar plastic. Here I do have this guy. You can hear it sounds different. That is, that is any of use. I don't know. This guy, here he is. So one thing I noticed that I wanted to talk about quickly here is on the pictures we saw, which I have a video like showing the original like pictures, first release pictures of these toys. I have a video on that. I will post at the end of this video probably. So you can see, but the toys all had these like holes in their legs, like the prototype ones. And I remember people were already saying, wow, that's horrible. Why do they have those weird holes in their legs? Come on, how bad of a, how bad are they gonna make these toys kind of thing? But they uh, ended up filling in those holes. So I'm guessing maybe those holes were just in the prototypes. Either they decided to change it and fill in the holes or it was just a thing on the prototypes and they always meant to fill in the holes. But they did fill it in, so I think that's good. You can still like see the lines, of course, where they filled it in, which is kind of meh. But whatever, that's better than actually having big old holes in their legs. This is interesting. I did not realize they actually were doing this with some of the Spirit Riding Free toys, apparently. But look at that. That is the original Spirit, like, little brand mark. I uh, will do, like, whenever I show more of my Spirit collection stuff. Pretty much all the spirit merchandise and toys, everything has a little silver spirit. Just like that, although it's usually painted in silver. So I was surprised just now to see this on this guy. That's kind of cool. And this guy also has like a weird little VIN number, China VIN number thing on his belly. Because they have to do that, but at least they put it on his belly. Then he also has a little thing that says 2017 DWA LLC Just Play LLC Made in China. And so, there you go. And this guy does have holes in his legs. I heard that apparently the other ones don't have holes in their legs. Why they put holes in his legs, I don't know. But 
he has holes in his legs, which I think is kind of sucky. I don't know. He could have at least put more feathers over that or something, or just had flat white, and that would have been better. But, oh well, he's going to be uh, with holes in his legs or his feet. He is really cute, though. This pose is really cute. He is uh, sculpted pretty well. I mean, of course, it's not going to be detailed like a briar, but... He's like really cute. Like he's not like crazy, like wrong or anything, like with biomechanics necessarily, but he is just really cute. His face is adorable. He's got little eyebrows, of course, all the little spirit toys do. And his mane is rubber. His mane and tail are rubbery. They can kind of be moved around. You can actually be like kind of swished. You can actually totally be moved. Check that out. You can just like totally kind of move this around. Probably don't want to move it around too much though. I'm already feeling like it's going to just pop right out. But I love his swishy tail. Really cute. His mane is really nice. I like the sculpting of it. And it's kind of neat that you can like go, Woo! It moves! Oh my gosh! I don't know. It's kind of neat. Kind of fun. So that is him. Not really much else to say. His coloring is pretty uh, basic. Just a flat brown and then white legs. And then uh, painted on... Uh, Muzzle. His muzzle doesn't even pink, unfortunately. That'd be kind of nice if they put pink on his muzzle. But his whole face just got a white blaze and the white muzzle. But his eyes are cute, and he's just really cute. His ears are also rubbery, you just now noticed. Rubbery little ears. That is him. He's really cute, though, and I think for the price, it's not a bad price at all. Like, a really great, great, great toy, I think. I was going to compare this guy to a, like, classic briar to show you the size, but I don't have one on hand. The best thing I have is this uh, Briar Cantering Pony, which is um, a little bigger than classic size. But quick size comparison, he is like, I'd say a little bit smaller than classic and bigger than Paddock Pal, kind of an in-between. But he's really cute. That's pretty much all then. I don't want to make this too video too long. I already made it longer than I meant. But there you go. There's uh, Flacca, Flacca, whatever his name is. Really cute. I hope I can get Juniper soon, too, because I like that one a lot as well. Really cute. And, of course, the original horses. I just haven't really seen them around at my stores yet, but the original... I mean, the main... not original characters, but the main characters. I don't know. Whatever. I'm just... I'm losing my mind already. These guys, super cute. This guy, super cute. So there you have it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll hopefully get some more videos out as soon as I can. Just bear with me. Don't worry. They're all... They're all like on the list of videos I'm doing. It's just I haven't had time to do them. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, have a super duper awesome day. And I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone.